Scorpio, this is going to be part two of that same video. Spirit wants you to move in silence. I mean, it's just amazing how when the truth is coming out, how the enemy will try to stop and interrupt things. But not this time. Not today, Satan. I was about to say that you are no longer putting up with anything that is going to come against you. This is five of swords. This is a well-fought battle. You fought. You are victorious. You left the enemies defeated. They are wounded. You fought hard for this. This is going to be a hard-won victory. This decision may not be an easy one for you to make these changes, but spirit is with you. Spirit is with you. Don't look back. Do not look back. Wow, you are the magician. I told you about this card earlier. was at the back of the deck in the other video. You are the magician. You know now. I remember that advertisement. I got the power. Dear. <laughs> yes. This is like with the first card, Grace. You are bringing the divine with the human essence and you have gone through some stuff this is power in your hands and this is why spirit is telling you advising you from the get go from the start to use grace when handling people for those of you who believe that jesus came we did not deserve this but this is grace so for, for a lot of you, you're going to have to show people grace. So you have this power as the magician to manifest, to use it wisely. So this is why P Spirit is telling you to be consistent with your truth and your honesty, with your integrity. Be true. Be true. Don't allow people, again, this is why people go to the top and they fall back because they cannot handle success. Spirit is saying, be true to yourself. Be true to the divine because it is the divine. It is he who has given you the power to gain wealth. So when you reach where you are, don't forget where you're coming from. Be kind, be gracious. This is where the word gracious come from, grace. Be gracious. Be kind to other people. Because you know what it is like to be hurt, to be lied on, to be backstabbed. You had to fight. You had to dig. Some of you crawl your way out. Some of you are going through this very thing right now. This is a willpower. This is a mindset. Because people wanted you to lose your mind. People wanted you to go crazy. They wanted you to be out in the cold. And you had to stand up in yourself. Thank God the divine was right there by your side. To pull you out. And now the power is in your hand. The table has turned. You have all the elements here. This is infinite. Abundance, unending, unending Scorpio. You have the power. You have the cup. You have the sword. You have the coin. You have the wand. You can have whatever you like. You can speak this into being. You can create, manifest, bless other people. Yes. Now, whether you're male or female, you're the queen of swords. You harness this power, the truth. And isn't it funny? It's right under integrity. Consistently truthful and honest. You are no longer entertaining lies from people, the enemy. They need, you, you are no longer telling yourself lies. I see the doves there. You're free. You're releasing. Now you're standing in your power. You're standing in your truth. 
At the back of the deck is the five of pentacles. Like I said before, you were left out in the cold. And now you know the truth. You know what it is like to suffer. Wow, five of swords came out, but it fell in the in, in it fell right there in the reverse. Again, you 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 Scorpio, you overcome so much. You overcome a lot of stuff in your life. Again, spirit is saying the high priestess move in secret. I see in her hand, she has a book too. This is you bearing your soul to spirit, just as I am with, just as I am without a plea. You're going just as you are. You have the book of knowledge. Spirit is saying, move in silence. Protect your dream. Protect your destiny. Don't allow dream killers, haters to deny you of what it is that you need to step into. Wow, Queen of Cups. After all, you are you're the Queen of Cups. You're still loving, still caring. Now you're very intuitive, you're very wise. And again, whether male or female, you're very wise. You're very wise. And seven of pentacles, you're gonna stay in quiet, working, building your craft, working on yourself. And this is why Spirit is saying, move in silence as you work or move into your future, your destiny. Eight of pentacles, mastering your craft. You're minding the business that pays you. You are focused, you are determined, you are persevering. You're not giving up. You're not giving up. Because see, once you come into your passion, once you come into something that you love, you will never work a day in your life. And that is going to bring you, see, from a seven to an eight. You're getting better. And at the back of the deck, the lovers. Could be choices. Now you'll be able to have options in how you partner with other people, even with your choice with relationship, because when you stop being so obsessed about when is he coming back, when is she coming back, what is the karmic saying, what is the karmic doing, when you turn all of that work on yourself, shine the spotlight in on you. When you start working on yourself, you're filled with love, self-love. You're putting in that care in you that other people took for granted. The right person will come along. And sometimes when they come along, you're not even in the mood for love. You know, it's like <laughs> the angels are pushing you like, come on, get out, do it. You deserve love, you are love. This could be you. Again, you see the moon in the back. Whatever partnership may be, whether romantic or platonic, spirit is saying move in silence. Don't share your love connection with people because here we have the queen of cups. So you may have gone through a lot of disappointment, heartbreak. Now you have the power to manifest love after you, are, you have done the work and the inner work and the healing. And Spirit is saying, keep this in silence. Don't tell everybody because not everybody will be happy for you. Not everybody's going to celebrate you. This could also be for some of you, if this is not love, this is, you know, the divine wants to be the lover of your soul. This is you partnering with, with the divine, with this partnership, with this love connection, you, you can trust the divine, that the divine has you. Wow, at the back of the deck, how many times have, have I shown you this card, the high priestess? 
This is either the third or the fourth time. I'm thinking at least three times. Move in silence. Secrecy. While spirit do the work in you, Scorpio. Mm. You're rising. See, at the bottom there, I see... This card reminds me a little bit too of the lovers because I see the two is just that these are like the ones, but you know, with the lighthouse on there and underneath her feet, it's the water. So you're rising, you're coming out of your emotions, your fears, your worries, you're rising above that. You're rising above that. That's beautiful. I love that. Wow, this is amazing. Now you're learning to keep your mouth closed. Keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. Eight of Cups. You're walking away. You're freeing yourself. You're moving away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Your leaving could be that job, that relationship. Walk away. Walk away. Wow. The, the Hierophant, Scorpio, you're wiser, you're smarter, you're leaving the five of ones, the pettiness, the inner fighting, the competition, no more, no more. You're given a leadership role. You know, a lot of you are going to be speaking on the world stage. Again, the moon, the moon card fell out, Scorpio. You know, just keep things in quiet. This is not an illusion. Spirit wants you to keep this a secret. Keep it hidden. Keep it hidden for now. Spirit will bring you out when it's time. Page of Wands. Spirit will bring you out when it's time. People will see you when it is time. You don't have to force anything to happen. King of Cups at the bottom. We see a Queen of Cups. Don't force anything. Spirit is going to force your enemies to watch you. The stone that the builder refused is now the main cornerstone. And now we're going to look at a few cards to kind of get a little bit of idea where some of you will be heading uh, moving forward. School. The answer that you're seeking involves going to school, Scorpio. Some of you may be going back to school. You may need to, Spirit is saying, for the answer that you're seeking, it involves going back to school. So a lot of you, you're thinking of going back to school. Family, loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. And this is why maybe your friends and family, some of these people disappointed you. And so Spirit is asking you to show grace to these people. Forgive them. You know, and heal. If you have to move on, if not, is healing that relationship. You know, your family. Maybe your spouse do something or did something to you. Spirit is saying, forgive. Heal. Heal your connection with your partner you know I see here after you have done whatever you have to I see this very happy family here and there's an angel just looking by so proud you know you have your life back together your partner your family you know what your situations are yoga your life is enhanced by yoga stretching and exercising so again some of us will need to do some stretching yoga activities. Spirit is encouraging you to talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. And at the back of the deck, it says you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Keep praying, keep focusing. Yes, life, you're still on earth and its distractions are there, but never forget. Never forget that the divine is with you. And because the divine started a good work in you, the divine will see you to completion. Just move in silence 
as you carry out, well, this card, leadership, leadership, the Hierophant, we saw that, take charge of this situation. Maybe if it's a family situation, job situation, whatever it is, Spirit is asking you to take the lead. Some of you, Spirit is saying it is time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. It's time to decide. You have been, we saw before with the hangman, you have been thinking about this long and hard enough. It's time to, to, to come up from out of this. Author, you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make the time to write it. Wow. Yes. Artists. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial for your career and every other area of your life. So painting, drawing, acting, you know, go get it. Spirit is saying to let go. Some of you, you inspire young people to learn. So Spirit wants you to teach other people. Help people who are broken on the inside to heal. You know, to, you need to come back to help other people. Okay? That's powerful. Oh, my. Study. Reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. So whatever it is, wow, oracle cards, you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. So again, this community is what some of you may be called to. You're an angel. You're able to see cards differently. You know, again, it's just like being the magician. Some people can use it for evil. It can also be used for good. And so are these cards. Your guidance, your, your help. It says you're able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. You know, not everybody use this community for good. Some people use it to capitalize on people's weakness. Yes, everybody is always, you know, most of us, if not all of us, have had tough relationships and setbacks. And so some people use it as a way of strategizing to capture the majority by lingering in the past. You know, like I said before, what's going on with the karmic? You know, is he coming back? Is she coming back? When are you coming back to yourself? Spirit wants to love on you. Stop worrying about when he or she's coming back. You have a life to live for yourself. I mean, this person is clearly living his or her life out there. You know, yes, it's sad if they got caught up with some karmic or some other third party distracted them. But guess what? If they didn't go over there, that person could not entrap them with whatever they did to entrap them. So while they're over there, whether in their love of fear or entrapment, I am going to move on. I am going to live my best life. Because at the end of the day, I will have to give an account from my life. So I'm encouraging you to focus on yourself. There's a book inside of you. You're called to read oracle cards. Heal your family. Step into your power, your leadership role. Talk to the divine. Talk to, to God. It's time to decide what you're going to do. Are you going to go back to school? Are you going to go into a career, you know, to, to teach people yoga? Or go back to working on ourselves, stretching and exercising, loving and taking care of ourselves? Instead of worrying about what other people are doing, how is the karmic treating them over there in that third party? I don't care. That's their life. You know, if they were to look into my life, I, I want it to be known that I'm living my best life. Okay, so Spirit has great things in store for you moving forward. If this is for you, you will know it. But Spirit is asking you to move in silence. Hush, 
a lot of you in the past, you talked too much. And so people were able to, to throw evil eyes and shade on your connection, on your career. And Spirit is having you change your direction. Switch up on, switch up on the haters. Switch up on the enemies. How you doing? I'm good. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. Just, you know, just, just trying to get myself together. Keep it moving. We see the eight of cup. Walk away. Keep moving. Keep quiet. Keep people in illusion. Be mysterious. Nothing is wrong with that. Stop posting so much. Like I said, the page there, you know, people will see you when it's time. Little by little, spirit will reveal you. Because what you'll be doing moving forward will not be off you. So you can't, you know, take the credit for it. So when people ask you how you did it, you, it's like you're just going to have to say, point to the source. I could have been like that person, but God, but God. And this is because you allow the divine to work with you for this ascension, this transformation, your standing. You will be standing in your truth and honesty, integrity, your authenticity, be genuine, be real. When this is all said and done in every aspect of your life, Scorpio, if you have not yet subscribed, please, I'm asking you to do so. Please give these videos a thumbs up so that it can move through the algorithm so that others can be blessed as well. Until next time, take care.